HelloFresh offers delicious, easy to prepare recipes and convenient doorstep delivery, plus calorie smart and carb smart options to make eating well easier than ever. Get 16 free meals plus three free gifts with code TBTB16 at Hello T16. All right. At HelloFresh.com slash TBTB16. TBTB16. That's how you start a show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Bald and the Beautiful. I am Melissa. Kevin Allen Fredericks the third. Angel. Marcus. And we review the show Made at First Sight. We're on season 14, episode 5. And uh, you're starting to see chinks in the armor. So we're going to go straight into it. In the kinks? Kinks. It's chinks. Yeah. It's chinks in the armor. I thought it was chinks too. It's chinks. It's kinks because it's it's a pleated stainless steel and it gets kinked up. Not when you're talking about armor. Let me see. Let's see. Y'all might be right. Uh, if someone says something has chinks in the armor, they have a weakness. Chinks it's in chinks. the armor. Chinks? Chinks. Frederick's up top. I, I to thought it was kinks. Wait, yeah. but look up kinks. Kinks in the armor is nothing. Mm-hmm. Kinks look in the armor up. is S&M. Look it up because you didn't even try it. Okay. Kinks in the armor says, this is dumb. Marcus is wrong. It says it's, <laughs> it's the exact <laughs> same uh, definition. No, no, it says, the cliche kinks chinks in the armor is referred to an area of vulnerability. Uh, okay, but the word chink is defined as a narrow opening or f- fissure, so it doesn't have to do with the oh the actual slur. of the okay yeah shut up Kevin <laughs> I took a picture of you and I. I love it. Hell will be paid. So we're seeing the chink in the yes, armor. Yes, we're seeing the chink yeah. in the armor. We were, we're just trying s- to be safe because me and Josh care. I love it, actually. That's why I was like, let's look it up. <laughs> let's look it up. She's like, because we can edit, edit it out. This is the time. Come on and let's get to it out. To ensure that we are correct. Somebody going to find something. Well, you know, when you say that, though, it was back in the 14th century. <laughs> so by saying that, you're actually being wrong and it should be. Shut up. Well, that's your favorite thing to tell folks. Yeah, shut, shut up. up. Shut up. You want to tell them, sorry, real quick, why you over here looking like oh, Harvey Singer? Uh, because it will drive me crazy. I, my allergies are still messing with me. Um, and th- today I have rubbed my eyes and the skin around my eyes raw. Ooh. Uh, so I don't want y'all seeing me look like I'm, I don't know what that look would be considered. Raw skin McGee? Mm. Yeah. Is it all rubbery feeling? Is it tender? It's awful. Mm. I feel like allergies should gauge the room and be like, we're still dealing with coronavirus. Just take a couple more years off. Yeah, it should. I got negative tests. (laughs) (laughs) Just to be sure. I was like, you know, people be like, oh, is that new? That's the Omicron Percy I something, something else. (laughs) And it causes itchy eye syndrome. You gave it a paternity name. Yes. (laughs) All right. Let's start with Lindsay and Mark. Mark, Mark ain't having shot. it no more. He sure ain't. Listen, he was like, this they shouldn't have picked me again. I I would I <laughs> me and the cats, we had a good thing going. Now I don't know what I signed up for. Yeah, Mark said you came Mark, you came in on twelve. <laughs> mm. you, now you're hovering at sixteen. The scale yes. stopped at ten. Yes. Right. Calm it down. Yes. Yeah, he was uh <laughs> the funniest thing he said to me. She was like, I had a few drinks. He was like, yeah, three bottles of wine. She sure did. <laughs> yeah. She was trying to play victim, and he was like, uh-uh-uh. Yeah. No, Let's no, not no. forget. <laughs> right. You she, had three bottles three of wine. Three bottles of wine for a person. And you couple that with your personality, hey, and you are the reason. Right. right. Yeah. You are a lot. <laughs> then she tried to flip it on. She was like, wait, you want me to pull it back? I can pull it all the way back. Yeah. All the fighting. That. <laughs> all the stopping up the toilet. She was like, I'm uh, matching you. That's so. If you I'll, want me to stop, it, ma- then if you want me to pull back, then how about you pull back? Oh, <laughs> all the fighting. She was like, he was like, I do be fighting. <laughs> she was like, why consummate that? Now, earlier in the episode, when they were like, did you all have sex? She was like, a lady never sure kisses did. and tells. And then when he pissed, up, pissed her off, why consummate the marriage if you got a problem with me? <laughs> like, are you an idiot? She was I feel like so her mad. accent was, was thicker when she was pissed off. Oh, she yeah. Was. It came that in. is yeah. when your accent comes in thick, though. <laughs> 100%. She was not having it. She was so mad. And I, I, I get why she's mad because she feels like... Yeah. 
I thought you thought I was perfect, but I also get why he's like, okay, this is day three, and I'm yeah. already needing a break from you. Yeah, Calm she, down. She's a lot. Like her family, the lie. families never lie. They, they don't. don't. There's they don't. not been like a single family said. since we've been watching this that lied. That's no. yeah. They yeah. And she she <laughs> needed to finish the honeymoon. And the family probably was like in the book. Maybe the like, trash we'll chick is on to something. <laughs> like, right. That's like hey, your say. family. I've been watching Mary first side. Your family <laughs> said you was trash, so I think I'm gonna go ahead Let's and back just out. Cut to the chase. <laughs> yeah. Then when he said this is, is my mic I on. Knew. Yes, his right. mic went off. Okay, Josh knew it. He don't care. No, no, he did Your mic not. Went off know. Last episode? Yeah, his yes. mic went off last episode. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't like on. the second half of the episode. It, it was out. When Mark said, uh, "Since the day we met, we haven't had a quiet moment yet," and I don't know if that'd be wonderful. <laughs> Right. He said, I have never had a boring day with my wife. And I don't know if that would be amazing or just boring, but we don't know. <laughs> we'll that's never like, know. That's Tom Wom's gams. I don't know if the sad I feel with you is be worse than the sad I feel without you. Yeah. They, they said to go without talking to another human is like torture, like excruciating. At this point, he's probably like, you know what? Let's try it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's Absolutely. just see. How long? How yeah, I would it? sacrifice ever talking to people ever again for six months to have to hear you again. Yeah. You know, it's funny though. I do understand her. Uh, you want me to turn it back? I'll, yeah, I'm negative. Yeah, I no, will, I will never. Talk. Yes, I was like this. I yeah, know. this no, is I you. Get, I this get, is I get. Oh, that's me all the way. Oh yeah, that's I, me all the way. You, just you want me to turn it down? I don't even speak this language. Oh, said, y'all don't like cheese? I'm throwing all the cheese away. I said to Kevin, as being truthful as a friend and as a uh, a coworker, last year when we started doing the challenge show, and I realized they the all of this stuff was taking up all of my time, and I got so ad- I was getting agitated when they kept adding dates, and I said, "Hey, I just want to let you know, just in case you notice, I had." I might be getting attitude is I feel like my time is being monopolized and I'm not getting to do the things that angel just wants to do. Kevin's take on that was I'll never ask you to do nothing else again. And I, and I believe that I Kevin never <laughs> asked you. And then he'd be asking me to do stuff all the time. Yes. Yes. If you could just do this, but no, don't you help me. But just if you <laughs> could Zero send to me this, that's it. I that's was like, it. what is wrong all with in you? I'm going to make out. a show called that chick angel and then cast a woman named Veronica. <laughs> 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 that chick Ronnie <laughs> No, nah. 100% I don't that's know not you. I don't know gray area. It's not always gray. Sometimes there's just fifty. <laughs> if I was speeding and I was going two miles over sixty five, I will walk now. No, yeah, never, I'm, <laughs> never speed again. I'm only I'm only like that with uh like relationships, like friendships and stuff. There's no gray with me. Is completely black and white, but in like like you in everyday situations, <laughs> I feel like I'm a little more modest. <laughs> no, but I understand her being mad. Oh, absolutely! Like it because was Richard, everybody shit. was lucky. Yeah. Everybody was like, she also probably felt alone as well. Yeah, because like I didn't even yeah. have you didn't even have my back. I get these people. I don't know. Well, I don't know you that well either. Yeah. But I'm all alone. Oh, now I was the only one drinking. Like I didn't say that, but the three bottles of wine. Yeah, cause she yeah she's like oh for five now. Like and she's <laughs> embarrassed. Uh, she yeah. has yeah. been doting. He's perfect. There's the, they gave me the perfect match. <laughs> he is the everything to my nothing. Like <laughs> all of this, and he's like, and about that, you talk too much. I yeah. don't need all of you. <laughs> yeah, you're a lot. She <laughs> is Martin. not to say he's wrong. But yeah. I get why she's mad. Oh, yeah. yeah. He can be completely right, and I'd yeah. still be like, in relationships, you know your spouse is right, and you're still going to be like, I'm finna be mad, though. And you <laughs> said can be completely it justified. I'm still finna be mad. Yeah, I'm still mad about the whole chink in the armor. And he, <laughs> <laughs> and he set it up with the... A nice dinner it on was, the beach. Oh, she was. That pissed. was oh, wacko. She was like, you do this? That was that <laughs> was a great misdirect. Hey, look at this. I hate your personality, right. by the way. Do you no. want more croutons? You really? can tell me that on the couch before I put on makeup when I'm just chilling. I 1,000% got that. I agree. That was, that was, why would you do that at that time? Because your mind you is You thought separate. that was like fixing what was going on is like, all right, this is gonna be bad, but let me make sure I'm being nice. You be you do something horrible at the beginning of everything and then do like, you know what? You do the dinner I, after. I planned this, so let's just go out and cool off. Yeah. <laughs> he was he, like <laughs> That was dumb. That's funny because me and Melissa, we uh we had a really romantic dinner. Uh 
set up when we were in Mexico one time. Mm-hmm. And in theory, it was going to be really romantic and great. In practicality, it was freezing on the <laughs> oh, beach. Yeah. That oh, day. Oh, that was man. the one y'all went to where Breesha went? <laughs> yeah, we was like, you know, in my mind, this was going to be Sorry, warm. No. The wind was blowing. It was, it was cold. We were supposed to do I mean, it was s'mores, nice, but it was cold. But yeah. Melissa was like, could y'all go ahead? And the funny thing, this is why this is so funny. It's really set up on the beach. So they have to basically walk your food over from this oh, like yeah. makeshift kitchen. Melissa was like, could y'all get me a blanket from just anywhere inside? <laughs> <laughs> it was cold. We were supposed to do s'mores. We canceled that. Yeah. We were like, it's, it's cold. Where we're we're too cold or too hot. The fun stuff's not fun. The romance yeah. is not romantic. Yeah. Yeah. I can deal with hot before I can get cold. Cold be kicking your butt. I remember when we went to Jamaica for the first time, me and my best friends, and we were 18 years old for spring break, and we were thinking, it's just going to be hot. We go to the beach. It is drizzling <laughs> rain. It's cold. But I was like, we getting these pictures, so pretend like it's hot. So we're like, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're going to get pneumonia. It was so terrible. But it was just like, we got here on our student loans. We have to take advantage of this That's right why we're here. Um, me and Melissa went to San, uh, San Francisco for our honeymoon. And we thought, oh, California is California. LA's warm. San Francisco's warm. We was right <laughs> on the San Francisco's bay. Arctic. It's so cold. I saw a quote from Mark Twain, I believe. He said, I've never spent a summer as cold. I mean, a winter as cold as the summer in San Francisco. Yeah. When you talk about the dog on water off that bay, it's oh, so cool. it yeah, was ice water. Marcus, yeah. we was like, whose idea was this? It's so cool. <laughs> we also thought we was going to go to the beach, and the beach was God. like rocks and stuff. God, oh, yeah. God like, why would you put water here? <laughs> why? Why is so it so cool. cold right here? It's you keep so going down the coast of uh, L.A. This is, it's still cold water. But the world isn't as cold, Right. I don't, what are you saying? I'm saying like when you go to Malibu, it's not as cold as it was in San Francisco, but that's the same body of water, right? Malibu I be feel cold. like it, yeah, I've never, like it was cold I've in never San Francisco t- than Malibu. The thing is, the whole, the whole Pacific is going to be cold. <laughs> What'd you say about that? The whole, the whole, I didn't hear what he said. He said it's further away from the equator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah but, I mean, yeah, technically no, it is, but the, I mean, I know, the whole but Pacific it, Ocean is going to be cold. Yeah. Like everything but, on the West Coast is going to be cold. But I feel like Sacra- San it Francisco is way colder than uh, Huntington yeah, Beach. It, or, it definitely could be. Or uh, what's the word? Geographical one location does, does make a, a difference. Yeah, it makes a difference. And but California is a big state. Anytime you're by water, it be cold. No, it do be yeah. cold. Yeah, in California. That's why I don't. The yeah. only beaches I've ever been to were all Atlantic Ocean before I came to California. Yeah. Mm. And we went out there and I'm like, I hate the beach. Is Atlantic Ocean warm? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. I don't think I've ever the water oh, don't s- beaches, the, the water don't mm-hmm. smell the way it does out here. It yeah. just smells like well. You ain't been to the beach in Florida? Well, the cat. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, we yeah. have any uh, Caribbean Cadaver. area. That's all Atlantic Ocean. It's all those places because it's on the other side. That makes mm-hmm. sense. Okay, well, last thing about uh, Lindsay and Mark. Ocean together. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. oh, I said Pacific. Get your ocean. Oh together. That's, no, that you did. It was about to come out. It was about to be ass. No. You put two A's in front of that ocean. I said, get your ocean together. You said, get your uh, uh, ocean. I can't do that stuff. No, you listen. Will what? <laughs> you will fully come? No. Yes. Listen, cannot play. I can't do that. Our tongue will be like, you want to see it? Go ahead and see it. I, I love I bleep out the wrong word. I'll be like, get your blue <laughs> ass. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> mother? Yes. <laughs> I did that. Uh, I was rapping a song in front with my sister in front of my sister. And my mom was sitting right there, and I didn't say the right or the wrong word, and I cussed. That'd be stuff I do. I got in so much trouble. Said, your brain, your brain <laughs> not used to it. Yeah, and I I, my mama was so mad at me, and she was yelling. But my sister laughing, like I couldn't even focus on what my mom was yeah. saying. And she she knew the lyrics to the song. <laughs> Wait a minute. I was listening to Jasmine Sullivan the other day with the boys in the car for the drop off. And I love the song, uh, P- uh, Price Tags. Mm-hmm. She's like, I- I'm going to take all I can get. That mm-hmm. money keeps that mm-hmm. pussy wet, mm-hmm. right? So I was just turning it down on the P word, right? <laughs> Somehow I get distracted and I turned it up. So I was like, I'm going to take all I can get. That money keeps pussy <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh. <laughs> the kids are like, that's what she's been saying the whole time. We had a whole bet going back in and see what, what is wet. <laughs> we thought it was pineapple. <laughs> Your dyslexia I got you. It. I, was a punk. I was like, ah. But I ain't doing get into any song and forget her kids. And I'm like, hey, you really just going to sit here and listen to this song right I now? Stopped. I stopped. Would you uh, stop? 
No. I, I don't even censor it when the boys are in the car. I do. Uh, they kids be. I mean, once I love do, y'all's age, I don't be. I won't yeah, care. I mean, but like, let's not stand on ceremony. No, I do. If, grade. if it has too much of a sexual undertone, it makes me uncomfortable. I'd be like, Let oh, you me, be uncomfortable. Let me just turn. Otherwise, she'd be in there singing it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just, if it was, if it was just like the p word is a l- is a oh, little now you more. Call I agree. The P-word? I mean, yeah, I could say. <laughs> now <laughs> you're on so Aubrey. It P helps word. Aubrey. It's for Aubrey. <laughs> yeah. Is, is a little more aggressive yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the reason why. But if it just had regular cuss words, the kids have heard us cuss. So that's the reason why right. I don't have the time be caring about the songs. I'm like, yeah. they've heard it coming out of our mouth. Right, right, right. Yeah, they, they do. Y'all let y'all kids cuss? It, no. no. What, what age will you let them? When they're grown. Like and 16 or 18. The first time they feel when comfortable enough. When they're grown, grown, yeah. when they are able to be like. 21. I didn't, yeah, cuss, I didn't cuss around, around my, my parents and, until I moved out. Yeah, I didn't cuss around my mom until I was, she came to see me do stand-up when I was 30. Okay, so, wow. Mm. What if they go away to college? Is that grown? No. No, I'm paying for that. Yes, if I'm. Uh, so y'all just going to pretend they don't cuss? No, it's not that. I ain't going to pretend. They're not going to feel comfortable cussing around us it's until just they are like grown. If you had an intern and they were like, Kev, this shitty ass man, <laughs> you'd be like, well, I'm glad that you feel comfortable with Got me. It. But yeah. if you could use yeah, more yeah, appropriate. Yeah. The language. only time I cussed around my. It was one time I was helping my dad. We were building a deck onto the back of the house. And we were sitting there and I saw a more, a better way of doing something. And I was like, that's what the hell I was trying to say. Was <laughs> and we were sitting there. My sister walked around the corner. She was like, what y'all back here doing? The I fact that I just cussed around my dad. Yeah. But by then, I moved he out. Said, I've heard about that. Thing. I like it, though. Still you? Story. Mm-hmm. Okay. I never cussed in front of my mom. I actually still felt uncomfortable drinking in front of my grandma this summer. When we were on tour? Mm-hmm. I was shocked that you did. Every time she's around, I'm like, uh, wine, so, please. Your people are cooler than what you put off. I do. I'd be like, they, they also are that. changing. When I see them, they be yeah, changing. Yeah, they have changed, but I gave that up a long time ago. My mama changed. I changed right along with her. No, <laughs> you said, <laughs> oh, oh, you do this? Uh, Melissa's I mom was it, so that. saved. And then uh, no problem. We, we went to visit her favorite one time, and she had a, the T.I. Rubber Band Man CD in the back of her car. <laughs> I was like, was that it? She had the one with, um, you can have whatever you like. Is that on that album? Yeah, uh huh. That yep. she just Same loved album? that I song. I think so. Rubber Band Man. I think that was the She just loves that song. Why she does. Nine in my Right, it's 45 a, in my other no hand. That was her jam. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it was about that song, but she was like, I like this spirit. rap music. Yeah, it did. No, sometimes I have to remind my mother, you remember, you're saved. Because <laughs> she didn't got real free. She's like, ah, yeah. I'll be like, mama, now, I know I'm your youngest, and I didn't bust the whole world wide open. You go back in your pocket, please. Yes. Thank you. Your mama ain't never, your mama threw that pocket away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, I just really quickly wanted to touch on the Lindsay and Katina conversation on the boat. Mm-hmm, please. Lindsay, Be- that's black girl, ain't it? Yes. That, wait. Lindsay. I'm on a boat. Lindsay, oh, Lindsay's Mark's wife. Yeah. Correct. And Katina is Elijah Wan's wife. Yes. Got it. Um, and then Jasmine and Loki was like, I love you, but you really are acting like a Karen because you forgot that you started all of this right. and then yeah. played victim when it played out. Yeah, when you way. kept, they actually explained more of what happened in this episode than they did in the last episode. Absolutely. Right. I they had sure a lot more did. content. I didn't watch the after party. I'm That's sorry. Everybody y'all. was like, Angie, hey, you explain it wrong. Well, I'm explaining it off of what they edited into the I, episode. I, I'm, right. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm not watching the next part. Yeah. The unfiltered. It's I'm not. tired. Yeah, it's a lot. The show is long. I like the <laughs> yes. show, but it's long. It is very And long. I'm not y'all y'all watch it and tell us what we got wrong. <laughs> Hello. This show is based on what was on the television program. Yes. All right. Correct. I'm not going to talk about it again. But what what <laughs> Angel said was correct that she kept poking at the bear. Yeah. And then when the bear rose up, she was like, "No! Like you can't do that." And so uh Katina was like, "Uh, you're shady." You be doing stuff I don't like, mm-hmm. and that's all I got to say about that. And then Jasmina was like, I do love you as your friend, but on some, like, as a white on woman. On some real-ish. Yeah, yeah like, you were wrong. Also, it's, can you love somebody for after three days? I think she, it, that's called a soft entry. Okay, right. got that's it. That's all that was. I love me a good soft entry. She was just like, you always check in on me. I'm not trying to say at the core of you, you're a terrible person, because right. you have shown nice qualities. Right. But yeah. in this moment, you have to recognize the thing that you said triggered you you brought upon yourself. Exactly. Take this lowercase L. And she yeah. had to. And then what was pissing me off, though, is she kept saying, 
Um, I just felt like she was trying to invalidate my experience. No, she was trying to hold you accountable yes. for what you did in the moment. That has nothing to do with invalidating what happened to you in the past. Yes. Yeah. That's all I really wanted to say. With that that. No, I definitely think uh, he's got you up top. Oh. I definitely think Jazz, not Jasmina, Katina did a, a really good job of of like, mm, mm-hmm. you going you gon get mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. where. um uh, that was Jasmina who did that. Katina, she was just like, I'm so, because every time <laughs> Lindsay would say something, Katina was like, I don't care the words yeah. coming out your way. Yeah, you, you've said enough. Mm-hmm. You said enough. Coming Stop it. I'm talking. She I don't care the words. <laughs> I, I just don't care. care. And and I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that because I don't think she was doing it in order for there to be some resolution. She mm-hmm. was just like, you're going to hear what I have to say. That's mm-hmm. exactly her energy. I don't need to hear anything of what you have to say at all. You need to understand that you are over here trying to play victim when you are the reason it happened at all. Period. Yeah, I've I, I've known I, I've known people. I used to work with people like it too, where it's like they have all this energy and they take up the entire, like, the entire conversation just with personality. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's I'm like she said, you, you know, guys, right? You get it. You got to be in everybody else's conversation. Mm-hmm. And being the center, and that's exhausting. Yes. Especially no. when you done had some beef with him. It's finally, and uh, old girl was like, look, you done pissed me off over here. I tried to bite my tongue, but you just keep talking. She sure yeah. Wake up, Kevin. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> All right. Anything else on Lindsay and Mark? Nah. All right. I, I, I want to say one more thing. Kay. Say it. I was certain they were going to make it, like, from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And the kinks in the armor that were there today, I Jinx. was like, ah. Uh, <laughs> that made me be like, I don't know, because yeah. what, what I'm what I'm nervous about is uh, Lindsay interpreting it that as you don't like the person I am. Mm-hmm. Like that is her personality. Yeah, like she's a big personality. Asking you to tone that down is like asking you to tone down who you are. And yes. I'm curious if she's gonna either get on his nerves a lot. Or the toned down version of her is going to be like where he's like, okay, now you're not. I don't know that I, she's going to tone down. I think she's going to be on every bit of his nerves. nerves. Yeah. I think that um, if she can ever get out of her full white womanness, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, where anything that comes towards her is she is victim. There's no like, let me do a scan. Am I doing this now? Mind you, I do agree with you that even if she does take accountability of like, okay, mm-hmm. I can be a bit much. This is not the first time I've heard it. Mm-hmm. I, I, there should be no reason why zero or 10, I should be able to be at an eight some mm-hmm. days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's not so much just to serve your purpose, but maybe it will help me in my people, you know, my people skills. But even if she does recognize that, I don't think she'll, she'll be uh, successful at doing it because even when, People like uh, other seasons that have been told how they come off and then they recognize you might be right. But then they, for instance, uh, who was that girl last uh, season that was with uh, the uh, mixed signals? Oh, uh, Zach's Hurricane, girlfriend. Hurricane K. 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 Even when she started recognizing, ah, yeah, I'm <coughs> sure, she still kept doing the same yeah. stuff. You because are who you are, man. It takes a long yeah. time to actually get better at the things that we do Much all longer. the right. time. Eight weeks. I, sure. right. I thought that <clears throat> both their introductions, I thought they were, I'm like, all right, this, these two right here, then them first meeting each other, I'm like, oh, yeah, they're going to be good. But by the end of that reception, I was like, nah, they ain't mm-hmm. going to make it. The fact that you can sit there and look at somebody like, Wow, and not in a good way. The 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 day of the wedding, yeah. And y'all just mad. I'm like, that's that's not a good look. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but she does have that type not of. Uh, I have been around enough people like that where I know. Okay, you're a lot at up. the first. You're you're like guacamole with the big chunks. You're gonna break the chip. I know people. <laughs> that I is definitely... such a good description. Are you saying I am? No, I'm just saying that the uh, that analogy. That was yeah. great. It was great, but it aged you a little bit in my eyes. But that was great. That's all. That's yeah, a guacamole, guacamole with, with the big, big trip. chunks. Yeah, you know I'm breaking the chip over here yeah. now. This you got to yeah, you 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 mix it up a little well, bit. First of all, guacamole just became popular a couple of years ago, so it did not age. Been having a good run. It was rebranded. Yes, it was. Guacamole and Brussels sprouts rebrand. Yes, they actually changed the flavor of Brussels sprouts. It's not. We were not wrong. 
Oh, was it? Because I remember thinking they were disgusting and yeah, no. yes. not selling. Right. Right. <laughs> no, it's a whole different No, it's a whole. There's like genetic, a, genetically modified yeah, and modified, they changed the yeah. flavor. Some sort of when I was coming up, sprout. I hated Brussels they sprouts. Now I can just throw them things in yeah. my mouth. Even when we were kids, not only did we hate them, like it was in cartoons. Yeah. Ew, Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Then as adults, Brussels sprouts was like, try me now. Yes. And we'd be, it took about seven years to switch them over. I feel like that happened once Kale had its rebrand. I feel, like, every, yeah. I feel like they were the first. Kale used to be a decor on a plate. Pizza yeah. Hut. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On a salad bar, but not in the place where you no. can grab it. It's we, yeah. we was in, we was in Florida. They, me yeah, we was in Florida. It was, they, it was like, yeah, yeah, it was like, yeah. Exactly. It was like garnish on the, like, just to make the plate pretty. I remember I picked some up to eat. My parents said, hey, don't eat that, boy. <laughs> For real, though. <laughs> they ain't supposed to eat that. But once kale was able to become edible in people's minds, I feel like the whole food industry was like, what can we do 100%. that with? Yeah, you know there's cartels for avocados. Uh, for what? For avocados, because of how popular guacamole is. It's, a, it's an expensive There's a whole, there's a whole Netflix documentary too. about how. Are you serious? Full, full cartels about av avocados. Oh, because we of that. We will commodify <laughs> and, and make a you versus me on anything. Literally. I was like, Sabrina told me about it. That's crazy. I went on Netflix it. and I turned you it on. You were saying something. I, I, we I just completely, it. Tourette's kicked in. Uh, you think I remember? Uh, oh, okay. guacamole on the chip. Bam. Yeah. Yep. I know people like that. <laughs> And where I know how much 15 minutes later and grace I have to give you. them. Yes. But I know not everybody's like that. So I am a little more careful about who I bring them around yeah. because I know they don't know. They're not good at yeah. the pullback. I got friends like that. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. that. I'm like they're like, oh, where's your boy at? I'm like, y'all ain't You're ready not for him. Y'all not, not, not going to do that. Actually, I might be more, I'm probably more toned down than people would think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I think people then think that you're not friendly like marcus was trying to figure mm -hmm. out what was going on with you that's like not the first time like that that's not the first time somebody has asked a about dick. that about you <laughs> man oh it is not prick. the first time somebody's asked that about <laughs> that has met you that has been like like is it is not the not same nice? dude i met in the airport he like, is no, a, he's actually extremely he's even nice. more of a prick yeah, yeah, now yeah. than when i met him at the airport <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying but no, you do know how to definitely turn, turn it up and yeah. turn it up and people be thinking they just gonna get the person who be doing they videos think the, the video is me at home like all right here go what up guy <laughs> two bears i saw this on the internet it's crazy and then i turn it off and i'm editing like this so you're definitely not Lindsay, is no. what no, i'm saying yeah, yeah, Lindsay yeah. asked Lindsay. We you gotta know move on. Is? Okay. Yeah, let's move on. Lindsay is Bourbon Street all the time. Yes. It's like, girl, don't take Bourbon Mardi Street Gras. over to Main Street. Yeah. yeah. It, it makes sense on Bourbon yeah. Street. Keep yeah. that out of Maine. Right. <laughs> it does not belong in Maine. Go That's ahead, Liz. Right, okay. Yeah, we spend a lot of time on that. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. Katina and oh, Elijah Wan. Yes. No, and Steve, y'all ain't got nothing. Uh, I got one thing, but uh, uh, Katina and Elijah Wan. Oh, now ahead, I've been waiting ahead. to say this. Go, go for it. it. <laughs> you are her husband, not her personal trainer. Yes. Hush. He's a weirdo. First of all, we on vacation. Any workout you do on vacation count double if you do anything. Hello. <laughs> Why are you trying to do a serious workout and trying to push her? You don't even know her nah. like that. Well, he, the thing is, afterward, when he said I purposely did it because I want to make sure she going to speak up whatever he said, don't 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 play, yeah. <laughs> don't play games. Come on. Don't play games. Don't play games. Yeah, that's right. I don't like that. Purposely irritating her. Yes, exactly. Now, but, she would have blown up on you and cussed you out because that's what I thought. She, the, everything about Katina tells me, she was like, right. let me hold my peace. Yeah, let the Lord fight my battles. Yes, because she could have cursed you clean out. TF. Yeah. But even but he, when she... Go ahead. Even, Even when, when she, she said, when I was younger, I would have possibly cried and not talked. I was like, yeah, that type of badgering does not work for a lot of people. No. It doesn't, even if he wasn't her husband, if he was just her trainer, for me, I'd be like, so was, we don't work together. I was right. just going to say that. Thought, Even yeah. if you were no, my No, shut up, Kev. I'm about to say that. Even if you're a trainer, it don't matter what the type of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of workout you're doing, who you're working out with, unless you're in the military, you shouldn't be sitting there hounding somebody like that. Like that, that was hard to watch. It was. It, I was. Um, you saw her irritation level. I agree with Liz. She was uh, uh, minimizing how she probably really wanted to react. Right. One, I'm just married to you. Two, there's cameras. Yep. Right. So if that were no cameras, she probably been like, "All right, my nigga, for real, I'm about to be pissed off, and it ain't no lesson for you to teach me." Right. No. Stop. 
Yeah, this no, is I, supposed to be that's supposed to be a fun little thing. We we, we kind of yeah. worked out. Not no serious reps and no, we gotta yeah, get yeah, no, no, ain't no laughing about this. Like Angel, Angel what are you talking about? When Angel about? works out, she laughs, she jokes around. I, I don't, I'm serious. So when the time when she we was trying to work out together, I was like, you know what? That was the end of that run. No, Marcus <laughs> trying to no Marcus trying to tell me why are you doing all that. You need to be serious. Don't you tell me how to work out. Mm-hmm. The fact that I'm even here is a miracle. Didn't I just tell you that this morning? <laughs> yes. When you don't want to work out, yeah. the fact that you even go, your body should be like, all right, we're gonna give you double calorie burn yeah. because you really didn't want to get out of bed that day. Yeah, and but then, yeah, but then even sometimes she'd be like, let's work out. I'm like, no. Yeah, we no, one time we did a together. boot camp together, and like I love, I do like to be pushed. I like to be given a challenge. You don't have to yell at me. Give me the challenge, and I'm going to force myself to finish. Marks was like, "No, nah, I'm a quit." <laughs> I went to. I mean, first of all, <laughs> well, you do these, said, yeah, you do these boot camps. This dude was like this tall. Mm. Everything you did was this low to the ground. Oh, I'm in there, yeah. six four, six five, doing all this. I'm like, no, no. I was he like, was I, in that pyramid, I went stood on the, you? I went stood on the wall. I was like, standing. He's like, come on, big man. I know you can do this. Exactly. You over here, a little teenage mutant ninja turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about run, run, run from one side of the court to the other, but this low to the ground. Shut up. I'm because doing three you times as much as everybody. Up like that. Yeah. yeah. For you, that's a lot. I'm like, Listen, get out of here. What's <laughs> funny about what you just said and what Marcus just said? Mel and Greg used to do. Uh, them like Iron Man, not Iron Man, mm-hmm. like, yeah. the, you know, them tough runs. Ooh, mud runs and stuff. Oh, I want to do a mud run. The, Spartan races. Yeah. yeah. They did she would one. tell Greg to sign up, and then they would start, and they'll be like, I'm not finishing this. And then Greg <laughs> would be like, come on, come on. And be like, don't encourage me. And he'd be like, well, you you wanted to do the race. <laughs> I'm the same. That was when I saw it on the video. I am 100%. <laughs> I would do a Spartan. Let's do it. It would be so much fun. It would be experience. We could buy all the stuff. Let's go. 20 minutes in. This is done. <laughs> I'm like, dirty. So, I'm wet. Now, I'm something cool. like that, I like the challenge. Give I will finish that. water, and I will walk, and I will see you at the finish line tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. But in your mind, when you set it up, you had every intention on completing it. And she's like, oh, I'm a win. Yeah. I'm a like, win. you set a goal, I'm going to finish it. I'm like, all right, I need to get there. I'm going to get there. But this little dude's like, all right, we're going to go back this time lower. Man, shut up. No, it's got to be a goal he wants to hit. If it's a goal that he doesn't find, we were doing partner things where we had to, we were in planks and we had to high five, cack, cat, like bodies, but This is after plank. all the other stuff. Marcus said I'm already me, annoyed. I am quitting. And I was like, come Marcus on, babe. Marcus was Vinny at that I was, uh, saucer thing. <laughs> yeah. No, I wasn't embarrassed. I was just, I'm like, I ain't doing this. <laughs> I was like. The gym is right there. We in here in this gym. The actual lit weights, that's where I need to be. I don't need to be in here with this little three foot two dude. He, 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 he just smaller every time. Because he, he was small. That's, that's what pissed him off the most. <laughs> but no, but first of all, but thank you. He's three inches tall. Dude, I, I've <laughs> seen, yeah, you are nine centimeters <laughs> off the ground. Asking me to do all this crap. I'm nine feet. Dude, I, <laughs> but I've seen dudes work out. It was a group of dudes, it was like four of them. Um, and they used to work out. One dude was like my height, a little bit taller. The rest of these dudes were short. So I would sit there and watch them do stuff. They was, you know, doing squats. They was like, yeah, you need to go all the way down doing bench press. No, your arms are out too too far. You got to bring them in. I was like, dude, they're going to hurt you. <laughs> they because wonderful. they're telling you to put your hands where their hands are. Your wingspan is longer than mine. You shouldn't be in here like this working. Chad, you need to be where, you, where you're comfortable at your shoulders. He was like, oh, yeah, 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 you right. I seen him work out with them one more time. Then I seen him limping. And then after that, I didn't see him no more. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, you, listen to, you listen to these little what dudes. What is short to you? Anything short under, to me? Probably anything under six foot. That's no, what I'm saying. That's you, not short. I'm, over, short. I'm six foot. No, that's not short. But no, when the I tell you these dudes, about it, they're like five, seven, five, six. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. No, they're in like mid five, mid to slightly high fives. Got it. High fives. Yeah. All right. Uh, Elijah Wan confuses me a little bit. On one hand, he is surprisingly mature and committed to this process in a way that I did not originally anticipate. Mm -hmm. On the other side, he sits on the boat and has these conversations about threesomes. Not even just three. Yeah. I, 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 but it's like he didn't, he didn't read the room. Mm -mm. So he didn't understand. Stop enough no one everyone thinks that this is a little awkward and katina is embarrassed and you keep talking he's talking like he's with his boys yes and he not the pro- yeah the problem is and he's kind of uh displayed that the whole time is he glorifies his past Come yes. on, babe. and glorifies That's being single like 
A, like it's a trophy. Yes. And it's like I like any man, it seems like any man in his right mind would not or mature enough because he does display this maturity of committed to the process, but you also putting your past and holding it up like it's this trophy. It's like nobody's impressed by that. No. We're also not 21 anymore. Right. 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 Like we closed it up. Yeah, 40 I, was with, like, I was with the mom. I was with the door. Do- hey, oh, hey. I was like, hey, yeah. hey. I'm like, this ain't the place for that. No. And he's the one who asked the question because yeah. he he was like, oh, so he right. could talk see, about yes. it. Yes. Yeah. He couldn't wait. He was why like, would not? My wife wanted to do that. Why wouldn't yeah, I want to do weird. Like, why are you trying to. Why would you test those waters with your wife that you just met? Hey, you know, if you if you said you wanted to do this, you know I would. You Why would I turn down another, another woman? woman? No, actually, you should pretend like you would. You should. That should be. I would never. You should at least pretend. I don't want to be with nobody like but you. you. Would. That is so Until true. she gives you the green light that that is something no. she'd want to do. Until she's yes. mad at you for not doing it. Right. right. As a man, until she's mad at the you for not at the doing door, it. You don't want her? Uh, no. Nah. Uh, I'll poke my eyes out first. Nah. <laughs> for real. Then this was, I don't, I mean, obviously they're beyond this process, but one of the questions that I had that if I were Katina, I would be asking myself, is he going to get bored sexually? Mm-hmm. Because his experience sounds very Four titties two coochies most of the and time and interesting mm-hmm. and very exploratory yeah and so i just wonder at what point does he get bored with just one woman and it's the same woman for yeah. a lifetime yes no i completely agree uh, I, he- I definitely think he seems like he wants to continue to walk on the wild side and the thing is that there is there are spouses that 100%. are able to figure out ways to make that work, whether they are just together or they are exploring other people together or separately. But when you are with someone like it's kind of different, like when it was Chris in um, page pages season, that was a big thing that the experts at least kept bringing up that both of them are very sexually yep. um uh, whatever the word is, like heightened, ambiguous. they mm-hmm. like to no, no. <laughs> they just ambiguous. sex, That's not sex the right is word. really important to them. Like <laughs> mm-hmm. their kink level is a little bit higher. That doesn't seem like to be something that the experts have brought up mm-hmm. for both of them being mm-hmm. something important. He was probably more worried about that cooking at first. Yes, mm-hmm. and that's the thing. Like I, I think you were making this point. Also, I'm not even saying if that's y'all couple thing. Mm-hmm. Like whatever, do your thing as long as y'all agree. But at three, day three, is it? Yeah. Day three, day four, you you talk about, I feel like you have brought this up every day. Yeah. Even before y'all got married, yeah. you brought it up. I'm tired of hearing of it. Yeah. Right. And I ain't married to you. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. I, I agree with Liz on the whole, like, is he going to get bored with me? Would yeah. she be thinking that? Because she don't seem like she's on that. She don't no. be like, oh, yeah, I got a homegirl who'll be down for that. She didn't say no, nothing like that, that it seemed like she was going to be down for that. Yeah, and that's when even when they were, uh, like, introducing them before they even met. And the way he talked about his past is like, all right, that was a phase. Is this marriage thing a phase for yep. you? Is this something that's like, oh, you know what? Yeah, that's what I need to do. I'm tired of doing this, tired of doing that. Then, like you said, Liz, later on down the road, you know what? This marriage, eh, let's go on and yeah. put this out. Let's do something different now. Yep. Um, I, I agree with you. I definitely I think can tell. there is this is the this is the biggest thing that makes me worried as far as in Elijah Wan is that he does have these very painted vivid pictures in his head about a lot of things. And even the parts that he said to her that were really sentimental at the end that made her about tear up about, you know, I, you ain't got to worry about me. I got one ring because I got one wife. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's all I got. All of those beautiful words mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it boils down to. And so when it makes me, <laughs> it Why definitely you take his whole speech away. Oh, that means nothing. <laughs> it doesn't oh, because ting ting. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little tick tick. Poor little tick tick. But it sounds like what he felt like needed, like, like mm. he should say. This is this is when you marry. These are the words you say out of but your you mouth. But you say that without saying the other stuff. You've yeah. done diluted those words, right? Because yes. the excitement level you said the mother words with. Yeah. Yes. You can't the passion behind that because that already happened. Right. And yeah. you didn't hold that up. Them memories on a pedestal. Right. 
So, yeah, that's just the only thing. And when I hear him say, well, I did that. It was a test earlier to see if she would yeah. speak up. I did, like, he has all these, like, like he has, like, textbooks. Mm -hmm. We yeah. just got through chapter one. <laughs> chapter two is me saying I love you. Chapter yeah, three is me testing you. And chapter four, he cook. Right. You don't play with your <laughs> woman's mind. You play with her body. Hello? Is that, is that what we do? Yeah. Oh. That would, girl, I'll be playing with that You thing. fit that lighter down there. I hope you can start a fire. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be on fire. <laughs> that sounds like an STD. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that STD, how you flick it? Stop it. I flick like that. I get it. It's awful. I get it. Melissa's <laughs> like. I said, <laughs> Like, I'll be no. tricking it like a speed bag. The clip be like. I'm like, why is that like you starting a jazz band? <laughs> so like, <laughs> Kev, Kev looking like it's the doorstop that's a spring. Licking <laughs> on the coochie, being the guys. You laughing at him is the most precious yeah. thing. Oh, with Melissa. I mean, the funniest thing about our relationship. Melissa always laughs at the stuff I don't even think is funny. <laughs> I'll say something, walk into the kitchen, we ain't got no bread. Ah, we ain't. And I'd be like, that Angel, wasn't even a joke. Angel's like, yeah, like, why don't you say this stuff on camera? I'm like, like what? She always laughs at the stuff that I'm not even, I'd be just really like, dang, I thought we had milk. We don't, yeah, yeah. But it ain't like that. <laughs> it's just stuff that I, like when I'm trying to be funny, she still laughs. But it's the stuff yes. where I'm, I have no intention on being funny. No, she genuinely finds you funny is what is just so precious. <laughs> That's she how I broke really her down. <laughs> like, I'm like, it's, boy too school, it's boy's too stupid not to be with. <laughs> Literally. I told that joke on tour. Yes, it's great. I know I, like, I got to come with jokes. I had to soften them. I had to, this was, I had to work on you. He's <laughs> stupid. All right. Anything else on Katina Lajuan? Uh I think uh my last thing, he gonna push her away. You think so? If he don't if he don't read the room quickly, the well, Angel was saying a version of this. He it, and here's my thing. I ain't been wrong. I made a first sight before on this. When the partner has a specific vision mm -hmm. for what they think this is going to be, mm -hmm. they always try to mold it into that. Zach was the most recent one. Mm -hmm. I want to come home. My wife is on the yeah. coffee table yeah. with the two kids. Anytime it's that rigid, you shouldn't have done this specific. This experiment, you got to go with the flow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to go with what is more than probably any that's, other relationship. That's with marriage. That's what marriage you gotta in be general. Able, you got to be ready to, it, pe numerous people have said it. Dr. K Actually, I said it a week before Dr. Cow on somebody you else's did. thing. I said, and I they, said that to myself. I said, Marcus, you did, no, yeah. he wasn't Dr. Cow. No, nah, but you got <laughs> He should be Dr. Cow. <laughs> nah, I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, nah, but you got to be ready to adjust. You got to be ready to. Uh, you got to be ready to. <laughs> What? Like, you you gotta gotta be be no, no, I want to see Marcus as an expert. We think we should break up. I've been thinking I that. said it. Absolutely. Y'all, I don't know why. I, I told you together. in private. I don't know why you didn't take it around no man. Just fact, take it for that. Me and Pepper and, and uh, Viviana <laughs> voted. I never yeah. wanted y'all together. I got out voted. Yeah, give me my money. Y'all owe me $50 a piece. I know. I be feeling like Dr. Pepper do be saying it, but they cut it out. They probably do. Dr. Pepper, she probably requires the most edits. Oh, she, last season, she was, boy, she was over. I'm not going to mention my words you're a narcissist <laughs> <laughs> what were you nah doing? but you gotta be ready to uh, be you gotta be flexible yeah. you gotta be ready for change you gotta be flexible yeah. otherwise it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work two 100%. rocks rubbing together just don't work it's rock and water you know they mold into each other that's all okay. I'm gonna say I today. wasn't sure what the analogy was going I but I got you it. can't I fall twice oh. what if it falls off a hill our carpet is dirty <laughs> our carpet is dirty I don't know I felt like yeah, it went with the yeah, randomness yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna get dirty right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Noi and Steve. I said it once. I said it twice. I welcome the name in Jesus Christ. I love them. They are cute, but Noi did lay it on a little thick. I can oh, understand why Steve oh, was yeah. like, Me too. Steve was like, I have strong feelings. Girl, it's day I don't three. even remember your middle name. Day, yeah. Everybody <laughs> pump the brakes. I can't name your parents right now. <laughs> I appreciated him being honest. Uh -huh. I also yeah. appreciated him pulling her in. Yes, he was like, "Come, you gonna be mad because I said I have strong feelings for you." Yeah, because that's a disservice to both her and him. Yeah, yeah, for him to just lie to make her feel right, uh, some type of way. Yeah, and snap her back to, yeah. "Hey, hey, hey, girl, you don't know yes. me." <laughs> but she felt it so strong. She was doing that interview. She said, "Where's Steve? Yeah. I need to go." You know that um, the TikTok where they're just running. <laughs> Yeah, she was really yeah, like, like, girl, I might eat my toenails. You don't know much about me yet. <laughs> he was right, though. No, he was uh, dead right. 
And and I'm glad, like you said, that he told the truth. But what was hilarious was she, she was like, I don't want to sleep outside. I like to bathe. I, like I want to go camping. I don't like camping. He was like, oh, but I want us to camp you. on the beach one day. She said, fine, as long as it's indoors. <laughs> you saw his heart dying? That's another thing. Uh, he had that vision. Yeah. We I traveled the four months. I'm glad you had that time. She mm. wants to go glamping. She yes. did. I don't even want to glamp. I just want to stand outside do, the hotel. I would <laughs> I would do That's glamping, would do. but it's basically like a hotel, like your own personal hotel room outside. You know I just what I'm don't see why you can't do all the camping stuff, and then when you're tired, be like, "Okay, we're going to the Ritz." Because I, yeah, I love being why outside. I, 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 can can spend, spend, I want to do a traditional day of camping. It is cold I, at night. I can I can spend all day outside, literally from morning, nightfall, all the way through the next morning. But I'm not sleeping out there. <laughs> no, I mean like when you I stay say, awake at night. Yeah. When I say glamping, I want the the room that they have put me in that is outdoors to have electricity and heat. No. Oh, like I, that hotel room we had in Napa. If that um, was in the forest. Yeah, but if it was yeah. by itself, not connected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just yeah. they have ones in Kentucky, they have glamping where the, the tents are more like domes. It looks more like a hotel room. I would do out, that. Yeah, but not a regular I would, tent. You know, I would say at the JW Marriott near a campsite. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we just be like, oh, it's around 11? The thing is with camping is like people go out, they set up the fire, that's and what they I, sit that's outside the in lawn like, chairs. You, you can do and all that. Then the thing yeah. is, I would do it over like three days, let's oh, say. God. You only have to do it once, correct? Because I, listen. Bottom this is, beautiful camping. I would totally do it. This is the thing about me. Full this, survival mode, though. Yes, like, for like I'm going to take a bow in there oh, I'm going to hunt us some rabbit one thing i know about me is this i always want to do the experience always i'm always down for doing the experience but i don't want to do it for extended period of time that's dumb i just want to say i did it once okay okay we went camping with all deaf and when it was time to go to bed there was like, all right get in the tent and i got in my car and i i laid the door back <laughs> and i turned the heat and i ran it and i was in there like i'm not sleeping outside in the, in the world the lord's world I've, I've done it before. I've done it before. Every time I wake up with a sore throat, I've never, I, I, done, I don't, it. I've never done it. You can't lay on the ground. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. No, they didn't have that. They were laying on the ground. Get the, little motor in. Get, get the little motor in and blow it. Over. I would do that. I'm, pretend to be homeless I'm not laying on the ground. Thing. I don't. I don't want to do it. I would do it one time. For the experience. I would do the luxury cabin. But I get the experience. But you would be the Let's first one ready to leave. Experience. Absolutely. Let's we'll be out there for 15 minutes. One time. Just for the experience. They're going to let us go. <laughs> Let's be out there for 15 minutes. Y'all can pack all this up, child, because I'm gone. <laughs> no, child. There you go. <laughs> Y'all can pack all. I, with a strong fingernails, y'all can pack all this up. I'm going to be up there. I, we pass the wrist back I there. I promise you I would be the first one like, this is the dumbest. And then we'd be mad. It's your dad. I know. I know. But ain't nobody trying to hear that. I'm going to be up the street. No, I know. I secretly made reservations just in case this fell through. She did. She was like, I don't, I don't want to hear y'all's mouth. No more about this it. This was your idea. What's also my idea is us to leave here. Look I want to leave this place. <laughs> then she going to get mad at us. Why y'all sitting here arguing about it and fussing? Y'all could be packing up That's and we could be do. going. That was your idea. Y'all are talking too much. Let's grab that. <laughs> First of all, protect black grab women. Grab <laughs> First of all, protect black women. Well, listen, do be look, on that. Be let, that as it may. Look, I feel differently and now. Don't let her have moment. a drink by the end. <laughs> you heard what I said. In this <laughs> moment, go. I want to leave. Hundred percent. Right, listen, her main thing, child. What was I thinking? <laughs> child, child, what was I thinking? And that, it's gonna be cold uh, out there, Liz. I know. It's gonna he was be like, dumb. I want to say that tough. we were going to do it, and we actually tried it. <laughs> that is it. Did you hear him? Yes, that is correct. You heard Marcus? Yes. Because that, that you know? that's Liz. It's 100%. I want to say I was going to do it and actually try it. That way, when I give up, I gave up fully knowing that I almost tried. That needs to be on the cover of a travel journal that you put out. I said I was going to do it, so now we tried it. There you go. <laughs> that's Liz's road trip. We're going to drive the New York. We stopping in New Mexico and going back to Gas. You got a gas station away. <laughs> we have the new right. Oh, I have the new. I Just want to do a road me. trip so bad. Oh, I, 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 I like road, I like road trips. Oh, yeah. no. uh, <laughs> once you pass El Paso, it ain't nothing. Oh, you ain't got it. You committed at that point. What they gonna do, Vinny? We got you a ticket. You gonna come <laughs> out here and you're gonna drive this RV back. 
We're and we're going to fly back. back. <laughs> <laughs> I already know what it would be. Vinny, if you could, we are got your ticket. Just show up. <laughs> Look, fact, just leave I, this army here. I it's drove. Over, I stopped over Kevin and himself on Sunday. I drove my Mustang over. He was like, so you really just be driving for no reason. Yes, that is <laughs> I was like, no yes. Destination he, and you know what he said? He said, so that's your scrolling on TikTok. I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's relaxing to me. Yeah. yeah, it's a brainless, mindless activity. Yeah. It's relaxing. Hilarious. <laughs> I talk to the place I'm going, then I get out and I'm at the place. That is me. Marcus <laughs> gets so mad. You don't ever want to drive. I was like, I don't mind if it's a if I'm not in a rush. We can take more of a scenic route, but I better be going somewhere for a reason. You just turn down roads and be like, I'm going to go down this road. Yeah. And see where it goes. Yeah. He, I'm going to take the, the best. He I takes itch. the That's Mustang how I found when we live in Chesworth. Like it's a dog really? needing to be yeah. walked. I need to take the Mustang out for a ride. It's been in the, the garage for too long. It hasn't moved. Like the Mustang is in there machines, like it's been weeks. Mach- machines and vehicles are made to be driven. When they set, things go wrong. That's why you got to use them vibrators. If you don't use them in a while, they're going to be like, they got oh, rubber on them. Get right. They got seals on them. They got rubber on them. Things get loose. That would have been a great No, 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 no. That would have been a great right. one. Blue Chew. It's but just gonna go on the left. Things get need to get lubricated. That's why you need to start it and drive it. So when people leave cars setting for a long time, they go to crap because it's just been setting. That is true. I, I, I watched that on Rust Valley. So there, it is a dog. It's a good show. Why are you yelling? It's great. I have a great. Time. That's what I do. Very Raise Did we my start voice. Watching this? Mm-hmm. No. Oh, uh, I only watched the one season. It was uh, great. It was great shaving. Uh, shaving Steve and Noy, they're going to be all yeah, right. Yeah, we're done with them. Uh, <laughs> I do think they're going to be all right, though. Yeah. Jasmina and Michael that we touched on earlier. Oh, that's the other Michael, Michael working my nerves. Mine Man, too. that boy, look at he, him. He, he totally read that situation wrong. And they've really embarrassing him with the edit. He made something up completely different in his mind. Absolutely. And that's all that, uh, I don't know if it's the insecurity, the trauma. I don't know what it is that's making him think, overthink stuff. But that was overthought to a completely different storyline. Yeah. Yeah, he was, was on a different season. Yes. <laughs> the other thing, though, is uh, Jasmina's bothered me a little bit, too, though. I was about to say, we got to get on her. Yeah, she's bothered me because I felt like what her sisters said about his him. Sisters. Thank you. His sister said about him. It's kind of like she's holding him the way that Zach held Hurricane K. Mm-hmm. Like, He's not allowing her him to be and show up differently. And so even when she was doing her line of questioning, like, you know, well, what caused you to be this way? It came with a lot of judgment Mm. and like she was being condescending. And then it kind of he was feeling I feel like defensive. I don't know. I just don't like their dynamic right now. It's not. Yeah, it's not giving because their first (laughs) their first little argument. I really feel like it was her. It was. That was like picking at it. It was yeah. just like, let him have his perspective. Yes. It's fine. Me and Marcus have so many different perspectives on the same issue and we'll be on the opposite end. <laughs> There's no point in me pulling him over to where I'm at. I For agree. what? It's not gonna yeah. first of all, it's not gonna change the situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if he sees it the way I do. Yeah, and I will give up a lot sooner than Angel. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> she gets mad when I say it, but I'm like, we ain't, ain't no point in going back and forth. No, with this. that's if it's a right or wrong between us. Yeah, you're It'd never be, wrong. Correct. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. glad you got it right. Yeah, Fine. and that's why I'd be like, you're right. No, but that's not what it is. But I'm when you say about, that, they don't like it. Oh, no. Nah. Because it's condescending and it, patronizing. It is. But I'm saying it could be. <laughs> <laughs> it's correct. It's correct. This was on. Angel, though, she's a know it all, though. I know. I completely know so it. But I, she, be, I didn't say I'm not. I'm just saying she knows that. About I just herself. wanted to make sure we were all clear. <laughs> all clear <laughs> and ready to move. These two are tied at the ankle. Who? Been, Kevin you, List? You, no. <laughs> No, I'm your these boy. cousins. Oh, uh, these cousins over boy. here. Golf. Yeah, he's like, I know things, and I will tell you oh. when you are wrong. And she, <laughs> and she was like, I don't want to be married to you. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. She heard that you one saying? sentence. I'm sorry, I'm off of them. No, what I was gonna say is the situation they were talking about was a fictitious yep. way to look at yeah. Yeah, a, a fictitious uh-huh. situation that they were, and so. She got upset because the way he was looking at it wasn't the way that she felt like it needed. And I was just like, girl, let it go. That you're Tell making like something out of nothing no, right literally, now. Literally. And then allow that to carry through. Yes. That, like, girl, and this is the thing. I don't, she was in her, like, confessional. I don't want him to be thinking things are going to go bad and then he's out of the moment. But here you are. Right. More consumed <laughs> about a f- about his line of thinking than he is yeah. about his line of thinking. Mm-hmm. Let it go. 
Let it go. Let it go. She's not allowing herself to fall in love with who he actually is. Yes. Yes. She's like, let me get you from where your sister said you are. Apparently, that's how he is. So can you love that person? Yes. That'd be a hard person to love. What you talking about? Him? The way, yeah, him. Well, the, the way, way he, he be taking up. them situations. Yeah. yeah, the way he blew up, it was unnecessary as well. Their yeah. whole dynamic is off. Yeah. It is. And I feel like they really could make it work, but I, I don't know if it's going to take a lot of work. They're, they're on edge right now mm-hmm. with each other <clears throat> instead of just being like, let's let things happen and we'll debrief. But I do like how he, in that moment of the argument where she was not backing down, he was like, I'm I'm going to accept the apology the way you gave it to me. And I realize if this happens again, I need to say something in, in the, the moment. moment. Yeah. I thought she didn't even like the way he said that though. Did she? she she believed that he was just saying it to get done yeah. with the conversation. No, but yeah, that is right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I think he really was like He was. He was. I, yeah, wait, but what, the, what you're about no, to say okay. he was. Got it. No, he, he was he was he was sincere. Yeah, yeah. he was sincere. Yeah, but she didn't take it that way. Yeah. But at the same time, did y'all think that her apology? Wasn't like I thought her. Apo- it was a little. It was you said like that to me, those, like I'm Marcus. Apolog- I'm sorry if you felt that way, but I don't apologize for what I said or what I feel. You've said that before. Um. Yes. Is no. 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 I don't. Uh, mm-hmm. It's. It's what she was trying to say to him was, "You're wrong." However, if you feel yeah. bad, I'm sorry. You feel bad. Yeah. Which yeah. Is, yeah. No, that was a legitimate. I apologize if you're offended. Right, but what she I, what she was trying to do was soothe the waters in a way that felt authentic and good to her because uh-huh. she yeah. didn't feel like she was wrong and she right. wasn't wrong and she right. and that's and him saying and this is actually looking at the argument I'd be so amazed sometimes I'm like this is how people mm-hmm. go wrong and stuff because he's argue or his point is um, well I was there well my ninja. Yeah. I too. <laughs> so I was there too. Was I was there, there too. Well, then if I gave you that apology, would that be good enough for you? It doesn't matter because right. I'm not offering the apology. Right. And if we're just going to do a tick for tack, we're not going to get anywhere anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Like the whole, the whole, everything was just all over the place. I was like, y'all are, you're literally arguing about nothing. The apology is about nothing. And therefore this whole argument is going to carry over and you're just going to have an attitude yes. and you'll yeah. never remember what it was even about. Welcome you. to marriage. <laughs> yeah. <That's> a- <laughs> like yeah. y'all ain't never They're two years in. They good. About something. <laughs> I know it? I'm mad. I don't remember yeah. exactly what, but you I want to know how the soft apology come. You hungry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, but if they, if they made it the whole eight weeks and are together, that, this episode will probably be something that will be able to help them further yeah. along because yeah. if he honestly thinks even after watching it that what she did was interrupting him then she'll have a better perspective of yeah. oh uh, apparently when you take pauses i need to say are you yeah, done yeah 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 versus her believing you Finished your thought. He absolutely yeah. did. And there was a break. Yes. So now let me add an addition yes. to. Yeah. And the way he, he literally, they were talking about sex or something. I never even thought about that being, his pause being a, he wasn't finished. Well, yeah. and he looked I didn't at see, her. I didn't see yeah. it that way of, of a pause. He did look at her. He looked, because they were talking about sex and she was like, well, I require an emotional connection. But his answer was like, well, you know, he said his bit and then was like, yeah, because, and kind of like gesture for her to speak like Mm -hmm. and that's when she was like well for me i did it 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 wasn't a cutoff and that's my other thing too their conversation sometimes is very overlappy Mm -hmm. yeah you know what i mean nobody knows more than we do Mm -hmm. for real the way this group knows right (laughs) but Uh i i understand as a viewer sometimes i was like super annoying but for me it's like oh we're all engaged we're all excited we all have something we want to say and that's just the natural way that conversation goes so for him to be and the way she was like yeah and he was all puffed up and da 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 chill out that's yeah. your ego yeah. that's what's got to be checked and he even completed i won't even give him what you gave him he completed the sentence he did it wasn't a comma it was and this is how i feel about it then she talked it yeah. wasn't, that's, that's it how that's how a, i viewed it but when you said uh it, she needs to acknowledge maybe just as an uh, uh, idea she needs to acknowledge the pause i'm like i didn't even think there was a pause well, but no, it, it could have been it could have been for him but he's right. going to have to break that down to her because yeah. the m- more rational people right. would be like oh but no you finished and, and for him it might be the way i communicate sometimes you have to give me two more seconds to get the next sentence out yeah don't say nothing but yeah. she don't know that about him i agree 
And even if that's his thing, <clears throat> that it's not interrupting. You were done talking. She mm-hmm. didn't even, there was no crossover. Right. You know what I mean? You think faster. I don't know what to say. Uh, okay, that's it for them. I don't think they're going to make it, to be honest. Uh, last couple, Alyssa and Chris. Deserve the song. They're not going to make it. They ain't started. They ain't started. They really, you right. They never got in the blocks. They she's a brat. <laughs> she's she's trying, a yeah. full grown she's brat. A, she she's is. a brat. Ugh, and disgusting. she's screaming, I'm a good person. Oh, my while God. doing mean things. So mean. So mean. I don't. Swimming with him? I have to be the, close to have his have to body. see his body? Have you seen your body? I, I can't say that, can I? But she said it, so I can, I can counter that. We're here now. The thought process that you had just had with yourself. <laughs> you know, I probably shouldn't. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm standing by that. No, it's. She, she was being rude. She was being Very mean. rude. And also, and as a person who's built like him, I take offense. He should take offense. I'm not trying to say anything mean about his body, but that's mean. I'm not attracted to his body type. This is my thing. She keeps he saying. Tra- he's maybe somebody mean. attracted to your face type. Mm-hmm. He can change his body. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm waiting to hear the mean things he said. Like, is yeah. the camera's not rolling no, when this I think stuff she's is? Yeah, stuff yeah. Up, and that's the thing. It's like these cameras catch a lot. She, and all the stuff, the honeymoon time, and all the stuff that she's complaining about, mm-hmm. and all the stuff that she's saying. It sounds like no, you're taking, you're creating situations yes. that his friends told Absolutely. you. And making it about real. his personality, absolutely, and that's also I even if we're true, that's their point of view. I don't want to sleep in the same. Br- I don't feel safe. Oh, of course stop. you don't. It's just oh. like then why? Karen no, first of all, I talked to a psychic. I'm supposed to marry someone with an eagle. Well, ask the psychic for his address. <laughs> <Seriously>. Don't go <laughs> on married at first sight. You ain't right. never lied. <laughs> or tell the experts he has to have an eagle. Otherwise, so he's not my husband. Don't pick me. I just, for her to be like, I feel unsafe. I don't want to, it just makes no sense to come on this show and then be a bitch. Yeah. Maybe the eagle just made, you know, eagle have bald spot. Maybe the man just have a bald spot. She it was a tattoo. She's a bald spot in her heart. She does. And it she's is She's not a good candidate for this show. And her no. mother even being like, don't be this way. It's going to have you looking bad. How could I have been nothing but polite? She really believes that, too. Oh, she yeah. She does. Mm-hmm. She does. I think if she says Where were you enough, on January 6th, we'll 2000? <laughs> you ain't never lied. <laughs> and, your, and your future husband. Yeah. With the ego tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> Had a flag wrapped around it. Yeah. She, yeah she, <laughs> she's definitely giving... Um, brat, mean girl, mean girl. She is giving. She shouldn't have signed up for this show. She nah. shouldn't have signed up for this show. She wanted a perfect person. You go out on Tinder and swipe. Yeah. I don't know if it's right or left, but you swipe the right area to the person you want mm-hmm. and go from there. Don't let nobody else pick your husband. Mm-hmm. Apparently, because she can't pick him. Apparently, no, she can't. No, she can't. I can't stand her. Me, Me either. either. Not my. Not, yeah. I'm not we don't like either. you. You're you're awful. All right, we're done here. Thank you guys so much for joining us for today's episode of Married at First Side, The Bald and the Beautiful is the name of the show. My stomach's growling. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Deuces.